Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a quick get ready with me. Today's look is light coverage, an easy eye, and a bold lip that you can change to any color that you want. And if you'd like to see how I did that, then just keep watching. First, we're gonna jump right into it with our primer. This goes on after your moisturizer and before your foundation. This one's by NYX and it really smooths out your pores and makes the foundation glide right on. I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera really quick. Bam, they're on. Now for foundation, I'm going to be using L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. This is my favorite foundation from the drugstore. Since I have normal to dry skin, I like to use the Pro Glow version just because it makes me a little more luminous. They do have a matte version in case you are on the oily side. And here I am just buffing it in with my e.l.f. brush. I like to paint on my foundation a little bit and then I start to buff it in using circular motions. In the look I did today, I only used one layer of foundation, which is why you can see some of my scarring peeking through and my freckles as well. I don't really mind, it's up to you. You can customize it and build up the coverage to however you like. Now to zoom you in so you can see the skin a little bit better. And we're gonna jump right into the eyeshadow. This is Silk Cream from the Jaclyn Hill palette with Morphe. I'm taking that on my Sonia Kashuk brush number 28, which I got at Target. At first, I'm using stippling motions just to pack the color into my crease to create the dimension that I'm looking for. And then I use windshield wiper motions just to distribute the product evenly. Going back into the same palette, I'm picking up Pooter on my Morphe M441 brush. This is just to give myself a little bit more color, and I was going for an easy, warm look. So just these two shades mixed together, and that's it. Now I switch back and forth between both of those eyeshadow brushes, just to make sure that there's no harsh lines and everything is all blended evenly. I had a quick little dance break. I think I was jamming to some Britney Spears. <laughs> Okay, now that our eyes are done, I'm moving on to concealer. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is really heavy duty and it is pretty full coverage, which I love underneath my eyes because I have some dark circles that I like to cover up as best I can and I'm just buffing that in with my BH brush that I got in a gift set. I don't know if you can purchase this individually on the BH website, but I will leave that in the bottom bar for you to check out. After I blend that out with the BH brush, I just go over it with my foundation brush. Now to set my under eye concealer, I'm just using some loose face powder by Cody. This is to make sure I don't have any creasing underneath my eyes and to make sure everything stays all day. I put the majority of the product underneath my eyes and then I lightly pat it around the rest of my face. To bronze my face and contour, I'm using the bottom two shades of this e.l.f. contour palette. I love these so much, they're so easy, they go right on. I'm using stippling motions and then just buffing the rest towards my hairline. Now I don't contour my nose, but I just wanted to add a little bit of color, that way it doesn't look totally flat, and then I just add the rest to my forehead. For blush today, I'm using Amaretto by Becca Cosmetics. That's also in collaboration with Jaclyn Hill. This color is so pretty and warm, I thought it would look perfect with the eye look today. Any peach blush would do fine, since this one is sold out. Now for highlight, I'm going in with a new favorite. This one is by e.l.f. and it is called Moonlight Pearls. 
it just gives a really pretty silver highlight that you can absolutely build up and build up and build up and it won't look gaudy. And then I add some to my Cupid's bow. And by some, I mean a lot. <laughs> now I'm going to do my mascara and lower lash line off camera. And I moved right on to lips and I'm not too fond of this color with this look. It was a little too pink for the more orangey tones that I had going on and a little too nude. I wanted something a little more bold. So we're gonna change that right now. I grabbed ColourPop LAX and I'm definitely into this one. This one made the look complete for me. I liked how the two colors ended up blending together anyway. It gave the dark brown a softer look. And that is it guys. Finish off with your favorite setting spray. I like the BH1. It is also affordable, which is a thumbs up in my book. And speaking of thumbs up, if you enjoyed this video, then please like it, comment, share, and let me know in the comments down below what you would like to see from me. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I will see you next time. Peace.